Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial for do-it-yourself gold mining equipment. Today, we are building a floating gold concentrator for a manual hand dredge or a little floating sluice that you can use with your manual hand dredge. And as you can see, I have some supplies laid out, pre-cut. And let's go over what we got here. First starting out, we got the two pool noodles that I cut. Actually, it came as one, and I cut them down the middle to make two. And then we got over here, we have a downspout adapter and then we have a downspout extender. And those two actually fit nicely within each other. On the downspout adapter, I had previously used for another project, and this is just gonna be able to be added onto it so I can use it as a flotation device concentrator as well as well as using it as a bucket concentrator. And I just added on this one to make sure we don't lose any gold. Now, all right, let's go over the rest of the materials. We got a rope that you can use so it don't float away down the creek, a carabiner to attach it. And then I have some PVC pipes here and I have two eight inch pre-cut three quarter inch PVC pipes. And I have three six and a half inch cut three quarter inch PVC pipes. And I have two seven inch pre-cut three quarter inch PVC pipes. And then over here we have some of these corner couplings and these are corner couplings too but I have two different sections for them and then right here are just some small PVC pipes that I cut at two inches for the tops of these and then I have here just a piece of an aluminum that I'm going to use for support in the middle and one last thing over here is just some velcro that I found that I'm going to use to strap the things onto the PVC pipes. All right, as you can see, these pool noodles have these little holes in there, and they're exact fit almost for those three quarter inch PVC pipes. So, as is, you can shove them after you connect them, you can shove them down in those holes, and they stay pretty well. Alternatively, if you didn't want to have the short PVC pipes like that, you could actually cut a full length PVC to go all the way through and just come out the other side. I, however, was just trying to use PVC pipe that I had laying around and I had to make this project accordingly so that I had enough pipe. Also, what you could do is cut these again in the middle and then put T's there and then run another section into the middle for a middle support. That's what I'm using the aluminum for. I'm gonna wrap it around here as support and maybe if it works okay, then I'll just go with that. If it doesn't, I might have to do that, cut that down and put another section in there with a T for a middle support. Putting together the back section to hold the back of the concentrator you see I just got a little PVC pipe going to those things. And those little PVC pipes that are two inches are going to the top. And then these are going to go on top. And I will show you that next. All right, there we have the flotation section of this project complete. This is the back right here. That's going to be the front. And I have that back raised so we could raise 
that second section to prevent any gold from getting out due to the pumps of the manual dredge. Next, we need to make a middle support and connect those two devices. All right, let me just show you this. So this is the, the downspout extender and this is the, the downspout adapter. And easily enough, these things just go together. They're like an A and B kind of like connection style. So you can just put those in together like that. You know, I might end up putting like a, a bungee on there or something to make sure it don't come out. But it's usually, it's pretty secure. See, now you got a super sluice. That should catch almost all the gold. They're different style riffles. So ones that get past the first one have to get past the second one and it's going in up in the angle. So you should pretty much catch everything that way. I got the back, the front, and here's the support for the middle. And I just cut that aluminum thing, went it through straight through the center and curved it down underneath the, the noodle. And let's see, next is just putting it together next is just uh, attach that rope so you can clip it to yourself so it doesn't float away and to find attachment points with that velcro to hold that concentrator in place so it don't fly away all right welcome back guys check it out i think i got a possible working prototype the real test will be at the creek and see if it can float and catch gold got it attached with some velcro straps and some bungees and you can see there's the hose coming on there with a string over there. I might have to make that rope a little longer. I think I might have miscalculated when I cut it, but I got more, so. <laughs> but this should be cool if it works. It will be a little mini gold concentrator as you're going around, just sucking up stuff on the ground. But we'll see how well this does. And please like, share, and subscribe, and comment on what you think about this. And let me know if I provided some value here. And uh, I'll piece this together. So you have a chance of making one yourself. Most of the stuff I bought at Lowe's Hardware, besides some of the stuff I already had, some of the stuff like those downspout adapter I bought at Home Depot a long time ago. I can leave some links in the description from places you can get these parts at least the majority of them. The pool noodle I got from Lowe's Hardware. It was a little hard to find anywhere else in the winter time. <laughs> but hope you enjoyed. And I will make a video of this on the creek. See you then. Peace out.